otolaryngologist, also known as an ear, nose, and throat physician, can treat a diverse range of conditions and disorders geared towards the head or neck region. Now, these specialists not only treat various conditions, but they're also surgeons who can perform extremely delicate operations. Dr. Kevin Caceres is board certified ENT physician with an advanced fellowship training in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery at Advent Health. And I'm so glad he joins us today. Welcome, Dr. Caceres. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. It's kind of ironic. We're talking about ear, nose, and throat, and we kind of had a mouthful. And I think people sometimes, you know, hear these different terms and they're like, well, let's talk about exactly what they treat and most importantly, how you're able to help. So give people an idea of your practice. So as otolaryngologists or ENTs, we specialize in disorders of the head and neck region, including the ears, nose, and throat. We treat patients of all ages, so from neonates to the elderly, and common conditions that we usually treat are things like frequent sinus infections or sinus headaches, um, frequent ear infections, frequent sore throats, thyroid problems, head and neck masses, or hearing loss. You know, I am an open book, probably sometimes to a fault here on the morning blend, but I was telling you before we got started, I'm actually having these conversations with myself right now. I find myself getting sinus headaches, dealing with allergies, and you know, when do you actually pick up the phone and say now is the time to go to an ENT versus trying to go to your general practitioner? So it's important to see your general practitioner first, and if you're still having symptoms that are not completely controlled after seeing them, then you may need to seek out an ENT. Um, when you have chronic conditions such as chronic sinusitis or chronic sore throats, then we may need to pursue extra treatment to get you better, get you feeling better. And again, what's nice is if you are being seen by someone like yourself, those are all things that can happen within your practice instead of going somewhere else, right? Exactly. I think that is definitely a benefit. When you start that relationship working with someone, you want to be able to have as much done with one doctor as you can. You know, and I was also asking before we got started, I feel like there's this connotation sometimes with Florida talking about seasonal allergies and things. And I think mine definitely got worse when I moved here from the Buckeye State. Is that true? I mean, does Florida have more allergens than maybe be other places? So allergens are definitely regional. So the allergens that you experienced up north are not the same that you're going to have here. Um, our testing actually differs by region as well. So with allergens, it's important to identify what is causing the allergy so that we can treat it, either by avoidance of the allergy or by treating the symptoms. What about time of year? Does time of year really impact too when you kind of feel worse? Because I'm kind of in a bad time right now, doctor. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. So some allergens are very seasonal specific. Others are year round. So depending on your symptoms and when they occur, then this may point us in a certain direction. And of course, when you do treat people, you've kind of already alluded to the fact that sometimes an extra step of treatment like surgery is required. But again, that's something that you're able to take care of. Exactly. So it's important to discuss this with your ENT. So if you're having symptoms that are not completely controlled by medication, then it's important to review the possible treatment options and things like surgery may be in the works for you. Again, well, I'm just so glad we were able to talk about this. And if there are people who are watching at home right now and are kind of curious on the fence, like, do I want to go ahead, give them a call, is now the time? What do you like to say to those folks about getting in touch with an ENT? Absolutely. We're always here for you. I like hearing that. And again, I shouldn't say ENT now that I got it down. Otolaryngologist. There we go. If you want to talk with an otolaryngologist or any of the other doctors, of course, that Advent Health can offer, TampaENTExperts.com, or you can also go to Advent. Health's website as well. Doctor, it was nice meeting you today. You too. Thank you.